weekly Plymouth News announcements. I'm Macy Frochner. And I'm Avery Just. Let's get this party started. <coughs> Welcome. On location of the Shark Tank, where we will be dunking the teachers who win for the most money. Summer's coming, and exciting events are coming. Show choir in the high school talent show, April 27th. The show choir this summer will be performing at the Tumbleweed Festival and the Fall Festival. Here, this is where, can't you see all these wonderful children playing at recess? Where these people are playing basketball? That's where the teachers will be dunked. And hopefully, I voted for her too. Same. I brought like $22. Um, remember, yeah, you do. Remember, <clears throat> Spring Carnival this Friday, 5.45 p.m. T tickets are $50, $50 a piece. 50 cents a piece. And um, now we have an interview with Mrs. Algram. Thanks, guys. Hey, Playmail. How you doing? Today I'm here with Mrs. Algram to ask her a few questions about flexible seating. Hello, Ms. Algram. How are you? I'm good, Anna. How are you? Fine, thanks. So, last interview, Mrs. Hans mentioned flexible seating. Can you tell us a bit more about that? Sure. Flexible seating is just like it sounds. Um, students are able to pick from a variety of different options, like the standing table or a ball um, to sit on while they're still doing their quality work. Also, how many people can fit at this standing table? Um, at this standing table, we're at about four or five. We have a smaller standing table over on the other side of the room that fits about three. Um, it's a little bit smaller and it's shorter. So you have been getting flexible seating like this. Can you tell me what the plan is for that? Mm -hmm. um, flexible seating has started to come and arrive. Um, our tables were the first things that came, and so we implemented those right away. Um, we went through rules to talk about how we use the standing table, and then um, students have to sign a contract. Um, this contract talks about the rules for flexible seating, and then it also it has to be signed by the student, their parents, and the teacher. Um, so this flexible seating is kind of a big deal, and... Um, We'll be having some more things come in, and we'll be implementing those as soon as they get here. Okay. So how do you feel about using the standing tables? I like them because um, sometimes when you feel like you have to stand up, you can um, just go to the standing tables, and you can like do your work on them, and you can like move your feet around, and you can put your feet on like the bar that's under them. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. And you, Garrett? I like it because you like to wiggle. You can wiggle around in it whenever you um, are standing. And you can um, kind of wiggle your foot on the bar, and that's all. And also, do you think this will help learning? Um, based on research, um, students perform better when they're comfortable. So having a seat that fits their body a little bit better, um, hopefully the results will show that it helps them. Okay, thanks. And now, your hosts. Thanks, Anna. Well, that's all for this week. Have, have a great time at the Spring Carnival, folks. I'm Macy Frochner. And I'm Avery Just. Have an awesome weekend. Oh, Now, what